A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, big fellow! Come on, Silver! There was death in Paiute Basin that afternoon. Its ugly pattern was in the circling swoop of a single buzzard that hovered high overhead. Its ominous threat was in the stifling heat of a relentless sun. And its certainty was in the eyes of a man who lay mortally wounded at the foot of Indian Bluff. His eyes, now dimming rapidly, saw three horsemen rein up their mounts a short distance from where he lay. You were right, Toto. There is a man here. Looks like he's badly wounded. Uh, President Sky always gives signs. Golly. Go back to the horses, Dan. Bring a blanket and a canteen of water. Sure. He's wounded, all right. Badly wounded. Let me turn him over, Tuttle. Uh, oh. He's still alive. Uh, even with bullet wounds like these. Here's the blanket and the canteen. Good. Now, while I give him a drink of water, you fold the blanket into a pallet. Ah. Uh, he makes it. Uh, Steady. Uh, uh, there. I think he's coming, too. His wounds plenty bad. Can you fix them? At least we can try. More, more water. Here, take it easy, fellow. We have clean bandana. Tear it for bandage. Good. Dan, gather some wood and build a fire. We need plenty of hot water. I'll do it right away. Thanks. Thanks for all you're trying to do, stranger. But I won't live long enough to see that water boil. You pull through. Steady now. I'll have to rip off your shirt so we can bandage your shoulder and back. <laughs> now, lie still for a few minutes till we get some hot water. Uh, well, this doesn't make sense. You, the engine, and, and the kid, part of Monk Savage's gang, helping me. You mean Monk Savage, the outlaw? We're not part of his gang. But you're wearing a mask. It doesn't mean I'm an outlaw. Neither are my friends. You're a lawman, aren't you? I noticed the star on your vest. Barnes is my name. Jim Barnes. Sheriff of Cahill County. I've heard of you. But not for very much longer. Monk Savage and his crew changed all that when they put this lead in my back. Are you sure it was Savage who shot you? He and his gang of sneaking, murdering cattle rustlers. When did it happen? About three minutes ago. I trailed them from Sawtooth Range. 
They, they split up here in the basin, and I rode into their trap. They got me in the back. They won't oh. get away with it. It's already done. See, stranger, even if I was going to stick around, which I'm not, I couldn't prove that it was Monk and his gunslingers who nailed me. Why not? They were all wearing masks, just like you. Oh, I see. But I think I could have proved the case against him in court. Proved who the real boss is behind Monk's gang. And all their robbing, cattle stealing. You can still prove it. Oh, not from where I'm going. Your deputies give the evidence to them. There's and only they can... one deputy. My brother, Everett. Everett's kind of hard to explain. I don't think he'd... Well, why not? Well, see, Everett's my kid brother. But he's not like me. We're as different as night and day. What's the evidence you have against Savage and whoever's behind him? Nothing, really. I had one of Monk's gunnies in jail a while back. An hombre named Slim Fletcher. Slim did a lot of talking. If I could have got him and Monk in court... Did Slim sign anything you could use as evidence? No. That's the trouble. Before I could get him to... get him to do that, Monk broke him out. Did he mention any names that would Only help? Only one that's important. That'd be hard to prove. Who is it? Tell me and I'll oh. see if... Oh. Teddy. That's funny. Getting real chilly out here. Even when the sun's beating down. Hang on, Jim. I'm worried about Ev. He never wanted to come out west. Never wanted to be my deputy. Now I'm leaving him all alone. Don't worry about your brother, Sheriff. I promise you he'll get along all right. You? You promise? That's what I said. I don't know why, stranger. Maybe it's the way you talk or something. This is the first... I guess the last time in my life I'll ever believe a man wearing a mask. <laughs> the water's ready. It's boiling. Never mind, Dan. We won't need it now. Mom, <coughs> dead? Yes, Toto. He's dead. Gee, and there's no way of finding out who killed him. Yes, there is. We trail outlaw? No. First, we'll take Jim's body home, back to the town of Cahill. Then what? Then I have a promise to keep. I want to see Everett, Jim Barnes' brother. Everett Barnes had long been a mystery to the town of Cahill... The quiet, soft-spoken brother of the sheriff was an amateur entomologist. He collected and classified insects. Naturally, such an occupation seemed utterly without rhyme or reason to most of the town's cowpunchers and horse wranglers. In fact, only two people really understood Everett. One was his brother, and the other, a very pretty young woman named Judy Mason. I... Oh, I might as well admit it, Judy. I'm scared. Scared to death. No, you're not. And the best way to prove it is by going right into the Longhorn Cafe and arresting Monk Savage. I, I'll try, And but you'll I... put it over. I'll wait for you over at the bank. Mr. Thomas wants me to help him work on the books tonight. Remember, Everett, I'll be waiting for you. All right. Oh, I'd just as soon try to pick up a black widow spider as arrest Monk Savage. <laughs> <laughs> well, good evening, Everett. What you drinking? I, uh, nothing. Thanks, just the same. Oh, excuse me, kid. Didn't see the badge you're wearing. You know, you know, new sheriff? I guess I'll have to be until election time comes up again. Being a lawman is no job for you, Everett. You know it. Maybe not. But my brother wanted it this way, so I'm going to carry out his wishes. Uh, sorry to hear it. Mighty sorry. You were sitting on a keg of blasting powder. Here it comes, right now. What do you mean? Monk Savage, heading this way. Good. That's why I'm here. Oh, well, if it ain't little Everett Barnes, the book chaser. 
Up kind of late, ain't you? No, Monk. I, I'm here for a particular reason. To see you. Yeah? What do you want me to do? Help you catch some caterpillars? <laughs> <laughs> My brother was murdered this afternoon. <laughs> shot from ambush. Yeah, that's so. Yeah, it's too bad. Leaves Cahill without a sheriff. No, it doesn't. Uh, as Jim's only deputy, I'm taking his place. You? you? Well, I never figured... <laughs> Did you hear that, gents? Our little fly boy is going to be a long... <laughs> it was you who killed my brother. He sent me that message, so I know it's true. What's that? I said, you killed him. You're under arrest for murder. Arrest? <laughs> Did you hear that, gents? The butterfly kid is arresting me. <laughs> it's not funny, Mom. Hand over your guns. Why, you... Listen, you young whelp. Nobody arrests Monk Savage. You're packing a gun, you better go for it. Because I'm shooting that tin star off your vest and making you dance while I do it. Hold your gun! Okay, hey, it's a pretty good-sized town, kid. But it's too small to hold you and me. Now dance! <laughs> Wait. Come on. You can't. Stop. The new sheriff can handle the gun, folks. But he sure does a mighty fast toe dance. Hey, you heard what I said, bug catcher. Get out of my sight. Climb on one of your butterflies and get out of town. You, I mean... I mean, get the... Oh. Get out of That's a shame. Poor kid. Poor kid, nothing. He's a new sheriff, and he's yellow all the way through. Head for the bar, boys. Drinks are on me. Get out of town, I... I couldn't do it. I knew that. Lamp. Where'd I leave the lamp? Oh, here it is. That's much better, Everett. Well, don't like to sit in the dark. Where? Masked. An outlaw. How did you get in here? Through the back door. When the coroner came to take Jim's body. And you knew that Jim was... Who are you? Someone who wants to help you. You left me? How could a masked outlaw... Oh, it doesn't make any difference. I don't care who you are. I'm leaving town. Is that so? When? Right now. Just as soon as I can pack some clothes. You're the sheriff of Cahill. Who'll take your place if you leave? Oh, I don't care. Everett, your brother was killed this afternoon. Killed in the line of duty. You mean he was murdered? Just because he was unlucky enough to be a sheriff. On the contrary... I think Jim Barnes was proud of being a lawman. Sure. That's the only law this country knows. Kill or get killed. I'm sick of it. Now that Jim's gone, I'm going to leave. Hmm. What are all these glass jars on the table? Are they empty? No, they contain specimens for my collection. Live ones. Specimens? Uh, wasps and bees. I, well, I, I sort of raised them, too. You probably noticed the beehives in the front yard. There are several large wasps' nests in that tree by the fence. Wasps and bees, huh? Etymology must be interesting work. Oh, it is. There are several thousand different varieties of hymenoptera and secti in this desert country. And so far, I've classified only about 200. Hmm. One of your bees, the one inside this jar, isn't enjoying his new home very much. Oh, that isn't a bee. It's a black-winged wasp. He's from that nest out in the tree. I just captured him yesterday. He's very vicious. And I'm glad he's inside the jar, not yes, out. Somebody just rode up outside. Did you hear? Yes, I... Burn! Everett, burn! It's Monk Savage and some of those men who ride with him. They must be coming to... I told to... you to get out of town, Barnes. I'm here to see that you get. Come on out. He threatened me earlier tonight. The Longhorn Cafe when yes, I... Yes, I know all about that. My friends were there and saw what happened. You better come out, Barnes, or we'll riddle that sack. They're going to start shooting. Turn down the lamp, Everett, quick. I, all right. Now 
Let him have it. 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 Let him before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. Monk Savage and his gang poured round after round of flaming lead into the darkened house where the Lone Ranger and Everett Barnes crouched on either side of the shattered window. Stay back, Everett. Back. You better hug the floor. They're shooting high. We haven't got a chance. There's a whole gang out there. They'll keep moving up. They're breaking all my specimen jars. The wasps will get away and I'll never be able to get... Don't worry about that. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't you say there was a big nest of them on that tree out there? Yes, it's hanging from that big limb on the right side. But what good will that do? Maybe plenty if I can... Oh, yes, I see it now. Those men are right beneath it. The kid's slinging a lot of lead, but he's shooting high. Let's move in and get him. Yeah, we'll get him. Oh, oh, oh I'm being stung. There's a million of them. Hey, what oh, the... Oh, oh, Slim, what's the matter with you? Hold that horse down. I can't, I can't hold him when you fly feet or something. Hey, oh, man, can't you see him? There's millions of them. Keep throwing lead into that sack. Don't let a few fly. Oh! Now maybe you know what we're up against. Oh, what happened to Slim? Can't he... I don't know. I, I can't hold this critter either. What the... Get Come on, let's get out of here. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. Golly, you certainly made them turn and run. No, I didn't, Everett. It was your wasps that did that. Wasps? Oh, you mean the nest in the tree. You broke it open with bullets and... Golly. At least they've gone. That's the most important part. I don't think Monk and his friends will be back anymore tonight. Well, uh, have you changed your mind, Everett, about staying on as sheriff? Oh, what good would it do? Even if I did stay here, I... I'd still be afraid of guns. Men like Monk. Afraid? Sure. I'm just plain scared. I might as well admit it. Oh, what's over? Oh, steady, big fella. Easy. Kimotabi, you all right? We hear shots. Golly. Not much of a fight, Dan. I was at Everett Barnes' house when Monk Savage tried to run him out of town. Gee... Hope Everett didn't back down like he did in the cafe. No, he didn't back down. Toto, uh-huh. I want you to ride to the county seat. There's a United States Marshal's office there. Bring your deputy back here with you. Ah, uh, your scout. That plenty long ride. I know. I want you to start now and get back as soon as you can. Uh, let me do it. Uh, what time to tell deputy? Tell him about Jim Barnes being killed. That Everett, Jim's brother, wants to present proof identifying the sheriff's murderer. Ah, uh, get on, scout. Golly, does Everett really know who killed his brother? Not definitely. He still has to prove it. We all know it was Monk Savage. Everett is sheriff now. Why doesn't he just arrest Monk? He can't do that for two reasons, Dan. First, there can be no legal conviction without proof. Second, Everett Barnes can't arrest Monk Savage because he's afraid. I know. Tano and I saw what happened in the cafe tonight. But even though Everett is afraid, I'm sure he isn't a real coward. I don't understand. Well, in reality, the only thing he's afraid of... Is fear. You mean like being scared of the dark when you don't know what you're afraid of? That's it. Fear that's based on nothing. It's a powerful force unless you can overcome it. What can Everett do? Quite a bit if we help him. How? 
And we'll use the same force of fear to trap Savage. Golly, I don't see how. You better get some sleep now, Dan. Otto won't be back until tomorrow afternoon, but we have a lot of things to do in the morning. Tell me what they are. First, I'm going back to Everett's house. You'll have two errands to do. Two? Yes. Deliver a news item to the courier. That's the Cahill newspaper. Then be sure that plenty of copies are distributed all over town. Did you gents see this copy of the courier? Kid just left it in here. Yeah, what about it? Anything new? Plenty. Big story about Everett Barnes, our new sheriff. What's he going to do? Chase some more butterflies? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. It says, the prowlers who shot up Sheriff Barnes' house last night may cause instant death for many innocent people. What does that mean? If How you'll shut up, I'll read it to you. It says... Well, it is a well-known fact that our new sheriff is an amateur entomologist. That means he collects bugs. Oh. It is not so well-known that the sheriff's insect collection includes several varieties of poisonous wasps. Poison. Poison. The sting of one of these little creatures, the black wing species, can cause instant death. Even horses are sometimes affected. Horses? Say, that must Maybe have been what Jim's was the trouble. brother ain't such a peaceable gent after all. <laughs> uh, say, hey, here, here's another item about the sheriff. It says... Everett Barnes has obtained a confession from one of the gang who bushwhacked his brother. What's that? It's right here in black and white. It says, Sheriff Barnes is keeping the evidence under lock and key in his home till he can turn it over to the federal officers. What do you think of that? Well, maybe the kid's smarter than we think. If he nails the murdering skunks that shot Sheriff Jim, I'm for it. Yes, yeah. cool. Say, I wonder if I... Uh, I mean, where can I get a copy of that paper? No trick to that. This kid out on the street giving them away. I'm going to find him. See you all later. What's going on out here, Miss Mason? You know I don't approve of employees having visitors during banking hours. I haven't had any visitors, Mr. Thomas. Well, didn't I see a young boy standing here by your desk a few moments ago? Well, he just brought me a copy of today's courier, and I... Well, I was interested in the story. What story? About the men who tried to kill Everett Barnes last night. Everett Barnes? Let me see that paper. Well... Isn't it wonderful that Everett knows who the men are who killed his brother? Yes, I'm glad to hear it. And I'm sure that a lot of people here in town didn't realize that Everett's collection of insects included... You're quite right, Miss Mason. This is a very interesting news article. Well, I believe I'll go out for lunch now. I'll be back shortly. Yes, Mr. Thomas. Jim, what's this about a confession you made and signed before we took care of Jim Barnes? I never signed any confession. The law dog asked a lot of questions. You're lying. It says right here in the paper that you did. Oh, I didn't, Monk. Honest, I didn't. Listen, Slim. Trigger and I have got to get that evidence, whatever it is, to protect ourselves. We'll go out to Barnes' house tonight. Why, sure, sure, Monk. But you won't be with us, you double cross. No, Monk. Please don't. Boss's order, Slim, and I agree with him. You sneaking coyote. Here's a little package you wanted me to wrap up. It's all sealed and tied. Good. Now, what do we do with it? Leave it here on your desk. How do you know that anybody will try to... I don't. All we can do is go into the next room, turn out the light, and wait. Suppose somebody does show up. That won't prove that they were the ones who killed Jim. You're right. So the only thing we can bet on is fear. Fear makes men do and say a lot of things. Sometimes they even tell the truth. You think they'll be afraid of... They ought to be, if they read the courier. Yeah, I'll blow out the lamp. <sighs> we're waiting in the kitchen. Come on. is dark. 
Maybe the new sheriff is vamoosed. Yeah, like as not, he's in bed. We can handle him. Keep your gun handy. Yeah. Door ain't even locked. That's kind of funny, Monk. Why should the Shut door up. be locked? Follow me. Jim Barnes used to have an office right off this front room. The kids trying to hide anything, he'll be in there. How about a light so we can Wait see? Wait till we get inside that room. This is it. Now, strike a match. Yeah, I'd like to... Who you are, but get your hands up, both of you. What the... Hey, strike a match, Trig. That sounds like... Trig, Monk, what are you doing here? Monk, it's the boss. Yeah, I thought that voice sounded familiar. There's a lamp on the desk, light it. Yeah. What are you doing here? I didn't give any orders to come I here. know you didn't, but Trig and me are just as anxious to protect ourselves as you are. How long have you been here? Just a few minutes. I used a pass key on the front door, came in quietly. No sign of Barnes unless he's asleep in the back bedroom. Oh, so much the better. Have you gone over this room? No, I haven't. Hey, look. Here on the desk right by the lamp. What is it? An envelope? No, it's a flat package. It's sealed. Let me see it. I think this is it, boss. Look what's written on the outside. Everett Barnes, personal, do not open. Give it to me. Open it. Don't get too nervous, boss. There's plenty of time. Hey, what the... Bugs! This is full of them. These ain't bugs, man. Wasps. Those poisonous wasps. They'll kill you. Let me out of here. No, we can't leave without you. Yeah, not me. I'm going to... Hey, who locked this door? It can't be locked, Monk. We just can't... Quiet, quiet. Want to wake up Barnes in a hotel? I don't care who I wake up. I'm not going to stay in here and get stung by... No! Did one of them catch you, Monk? Uh, I think so. I'm going to break this door down. No, you fool. Smash that window. Never let them out. Now be quiet. We can't afford to attract attention. Listen, Thomas. Trig and I'll do your killing for you like Jim Barnes, but we won't have it. That's all we wanted to hear. Isn't that right, Everett? But sure hey, is. Hey, what the... Mask. A mask I'll hoot out. You'd better not reach for that gun. I'll show you. No! That bullet just smashed your shoulder. Hello. Uh huh. The Deputy United States Marshal with you? I certainly am. Thanks to you and what I've heard, I'm arresting three men for murder. Good. Hey, you fools. Can't you see now, Everett, how foolish you were to be afraid of cheap crooks like these? Yes. Who were so dumb they were scared stiff of some harmless honeybees? Bees? I thought them You'll things were. You'll have a long end. time to figure that one out in the place where you're going. Well, I'll Get be. Get moving, all of you. Go on, I think our job is finished, Hello. Uh huh. Adios, Sheriff Barnes. Wait a minute. Don't go without. Everett? Judy. What happened? Please tell me what happened. I'll tell you all about it later, Judy. Right now, I, all I can think of is what a masked man and an Indian taught a sheriff about fear. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Mm-hmm.